just so you know, Nathan Drake is no longer in the picture. You don't have to worry about him. I'm not convinced. Why do you accept my offer? I'm not one to look a gift horse in the market, especially with everyone wanting to see me fall. I hear that. But on the plus side, oh, there's a plus on? Oh, when people have low expectations, it's much easier to take them by surprise. As far as I'm concerned, this business is tough enough on your own. You have to take any advantage you can. Watch out. The rebels might be here already. Look up there. Parashurama's bow. Spotted this on the tower, too. So, Parashurama. 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 Who was he again? Okay. Six avatar of the god Vishnu. A fearsome worry. Right. Still wrapping my head around. Coming. Copy that. This should do the trick. There. Okay. was hard to say a fortress not the right layout for a temple now we go. up we go up nice to be out of that shit hole I was starting to think the boss was all talk I'd watch your mind sorry soon it won't matter once we have the task, the people will follow like sheep. Yeah, even the mighty Indian army will tremble. I can't wait. It's a way to cheat. Except when it's not. There's uh, the mountain! Here come the others! Okay. We're all clear. It won't be the last of them. There was a big truck parked out front. We'll keep our eyes open. We'd better. <sighs> We'd walk right off a cliff. You do have a sense of humor. Would have preferred a head start over a sob. Not much we can do. Besides, doesn't matter who starts, only who finishes. See that? Looks like another faucet. Let's find a way up. Follow me! Uh, 
The Dean. Or friends up ahead. They don't know we're here. Good. How are you so relaxed? Didn't you hear those gunshots? I did. You worry too much. Our brothers are trained by Asab himself. Ah, I'm keeping my safety off, just in case. The mine was never on. Hang on. Hey, saw something. What? What was it? Nothing. We're okay. What? Hey! Hey, you got anything? Hey, are you there? This'll make a hell of a racket. Oh shit, they've made it! Eric, no way out of it! Excuse me, just passing through. Sorry. You all right? Go fast. Be there as soon as I can. Take your time. You're not used to this. <sighs> Got awfully quiet. Nadine. What? Ah! Uh, why didn't you answer? I didn't hear you. I did a lot of shooting just now. My ears are ringing. <coughs> oh, you, uh... You took them all down. No, oh, that's why you hired me. Besides, they started it. This time. Good guess.
Spada Sharama. Right. Let's turn the water on. Well, well. What's to say it's not different this time? What if it's fire or something? You're messing with me. I'm totally messing with you. Here we go. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm a little disappointed it wasn't fire. Another waterfall. Yeah. It's two out of three now. Also, I went to an absurd amount of trouble to hide the tusk. Well, the tusk was the symbol of Hoysala dominance, representing their wealth and their might. A nice trophy for the Persians. Yeah. My dad always thought that the tusk was something even greater, though. What? Your dad was after the tusk? Well, my dad was obsessed with it. He spent every day and night researching it. All our money wasted on fruitless expeditions. Heard that one before. Ugh. So what came of it? I don't know. <laughs> well, he sent me and my mum away. He said it was no longer safe. And off to Australia we went. <laughs> and now here I stand on the outskirts of Halibadu. That's pretty funny. Last stop, the fort embedded in that mountain. That'll be the one with the axe. At least your accent makes sense now. Yeah. Fraser's not exactly an Indian surname either. It was my mum's. Let's find a way to get back down to the car. <laughs> Sounds good. <gasps> Makes more sense why it solves after the tusk now. Figured he just wanted the money, like us. He'll use it to rally people to his cause, wave it in the government's face. Just like all the other times. This has happened before? Oh, yeah. Ever since the young king lost to the Persians, everyone's wanted to lay claim to it, to this land. And here I thought we were just going on a treasure hunt. We are. Let men like Asav fight over it. It's none of our concern. Fighting wars was my concern for a time. Good point. But you did it for the cash. Usually. What about when you worked for Asav? <laughs> Definitely a cash grab. Hardly worth the trouble. Ouch. Why do it then? Needed to establish my rep, eh? Figured I'd start with the worst of the bunch. Nowhere to go but up after that. <sighs> hey, look. Shiva's axe. Man. Glad I climbed that tower, eh? He was the god of destruction, right? Yes, but maybe not in the way you're thinking. So not blowing things up? Definitely not. Here we go. Hey, I'll take care of this one. Okay.
Ah. Salah versus the tiger. Salah won, actually. He was protecting his guru and killed the animal in one blow. It's where the name Hoi Salah comes from. Hoi, meaning strike, in their language. No, 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 no! Oh! <coughs> Fraser, you okay? <coughs> yep. Come on in. Water's fine. I mean, don't drink it or anything. They've left their climbing gear. They should come in handy. Correction. Our climbing gear. than most men. I'm good. Good. Let's keep moving. Oh my. What the hell is this? Okay, let's see what this does. <sighs> that statue moved. Well, let's see how this goes. Well, I'll be going to hell. That's elaborate.
Oh, for goodness sake. Three statues with two different symbols. Star and priest. They're all more solar sun symbols, but I like your descriptions better. Oh, fresh air. Feels good to be outside. Weird smell in there. Death. Smelt like death. Uh, I was thinking <coughs> mildew with all the water. Definitely death. Let's make an axe. Nice to see you, Shiva. Come on, let's get this over and done with. Yep. Oh, shit! See? I told you it was dangerous. You hurt. Just my dignity. Here we go. There'd be water. Now that's three. You know, you're pretty good at this whole treasure hunting thing. I'm a quick study. Mm. One question, though. I reckon that you could pretty much do anything you want. Why are you so keen to get Shoreline back? Seriously? My partner tends my own men against me. My lieutenant makes off with a bounty. Nathan and Samuel Drake get off scot-free and you're asking why I want Shoreline back. Yeah. It was on my watch. I lost it on my watch. All right, what the hell is that thing you keep playing with? It's my stress toy. It showed up in the mail a few weeks after we got to Australia. All right, we better get a move on. We don't want a salve to get ahead of us. You know, I've had my fair share of screw-ups. <laughs> you just pick yourself up and move on. I don't like to fail. No one does, love. <clears throat> Let's head back to the car. Gotta love a shortcut. Glad we don't have to go back the way we came. I would have made you dodge the axes. <gasps> Kick-ass reputation. Got you this way. Plus, I just figured you could use the money. You're not wrong. Honestly, though, it's actually nice working with a woman for a change. <laughs> Too right. Not many of us out here. This one arms dealer demanded to speak to the man in charge, then tried backing out when I informed him I was running the show. Uh, what did you do? Broke both his legs. <laughs> You're not kidding. Just trying to level the playing field. Oh, don't cross rocks. 
Hold on. Over there, in that cliff wall. See that archway? Looks impact. Shall we? Right behind you. Magnificent. How long do you suppose it takes to carve something like this? Years. Decades, even. The Hoi Sala certainly did have a knack for stonework. And the war, it seems. That too. They must have made these to commemorate their victories against the Persians. Looks like they put up a good fight. They did. Pity it didn't last. But their loss is our gain, right? That carving looks familiar. That carving is an exact match for the disc. So what does that mean? I don't know yet. But, I'm guessing, we should give that a try. Should we dance? Try not to break it this time. Sassy. <laughs> You ready? Yeah. Just, um, taking it all in. Welcome to downtown Halabadu. Last known resting place, Task of Ganesh. Spectacular. <sighs> hmm. What? Doesn't it look like there's a dam or something between the two Ganesh statues? Must have been eroded by the falls. So how do we get in? Hang on. Yeah. Look at the crown. It's not wear and tear. You're right. Maybe it was a watchtower. Bet that's how the Persians got in. I have heard about this place for so long. <laughs> I can't believe I'm actually looking at it. You should take a picture. Send it to your dad. <laughs> Great idea. What? You're one of those cultures who can't work a computer? Just take the picture. Show it to him in person then. No, it's uh, just a few decades too late for that. Look, I'm... Oh. Oh, God, please, no. It's fine. <laughs> Shall we, uh, head over to Halibadu?